Welcome to Medieval Mayhem. On this channel you'll find lots of reviews into medieval equipment that's currently for sale. You'll find lots of DIY videos into costuming and furniture. You'll find lots of analysis of medieval events, who were the key people and why did events take place the way that they did. So if medieval is your thing, this is the channel for you and you might like to consider subscribing. Uh, and in this video we're going to take a look at how to build or how to make a medieval style feather quill. The first thing you're going to need is a feather. A fairly long feather, ideally you're looking for a goose feather or a swan feather, something like that. Uh, they would be the most common historical ones, however I don't have any geese or swans or anything like that in my neighbourhood, so I was able to find a cockatoo feather. I'm in Brisbane, Australia, there's plenty of cockatoos around and they're happy to don donate their feathers uh, for a worthy cause. Alrighty, next thing we're going to need is a craft knife, uh, nice and sharp, a pair of scissors and some kind of strong poking device. Uh, in this case, this is an engineer's scribe, but I also use it for my leather work and so on. Radio. Let's go. Alrighty, so I'm just going to go ahead and make my first cut. Now you'll notice the lower end of the feather is actually quite a lot softer. So we don't need that. What we need is the, the firmer part because that's what's going to hold the ink. So we're going to cut the, um, the softer part away. Now some feathers have like an inner membrane. Uh, or and there you go. Um, so we don't need that because that's not going to help us at all. Alrighty, uh, the third step is just to carve the nib into the shape that you're going to want it. And There we go, that's, that's roughly what I'm looking for. I like to, to gouge, you don't need to cut, but I like to gouge a little line in there which actually helps the um, ink to flow. Now the next thing I want to do is, is trim this feather down. This is not anywhere near as wide as a goose or, or um, swan feather unfortunately. As I say I don't have access to that. But um, what I want to do is just trim off uh, some of the excess sort of feathers that I, I'm not going to need. So and I think it's interesting if you actually look at historical examples of um, quills you can see that that some people at least made them incredibly personal and I imagine it would be much like a uh, it is today just in the office you know did someone steal my pen or did someone steal my uh, quill back in the day Alrighty. Uh, these feathers are simply going to get in the way and they're going to make it a little bit irritating when I'm trying to use the quill so I just don't need them. The actual length that you're looking for is roughly the same as a, as a traditional pen today. Well, I certainly don't claim to be an expert on calligraphy, but that's okay. All right, it, it's a skill that takes a long time to master. I really hope you guys have enjoyed today's video. Please like, subscribe and share, and I'll catch you in my next video.